Hey guys, AJ with Relentless Racing. Thanks for coming back to the channel and checking out my videos. Today, we're gonna to be installing the ATI Super Damper. I use one of these on all of my race motors to dampen out the vibrations and harmonics that happen within your motor. This piece right here replaces the stock crank pulley. I've seen lots of videos on YouTube about how to put this thing on, and a lot of people put this thing on by putting this on here, positioning and hammering it on, with a mallet, but I don't put mine on that way. Also, no one ever really talks about how to take these guys off. So I'm gonna talk about all that stuff in this video. So hope you enjoy this content. So let's go over all of this stuff right here. This is what I use to put on the ATI Super Damper. I purchased an ATI Damper Puller Installer Kit and you can see the part number right there. It's 918-999. And inside here, you have what's called a base plate. It has a center shaft, which is this guy, and this is the drive nut right here. And it comes with a bunch of these adapters. These are called threaded crankshaft adapter pieces. And so each side of these guys have half inch 20, which is what goes on the end of the center shaft, and that adapts it to the crankshaft. But the trick is, is these guys are actually SAE. So they're SAE on both sides. So primarily this kit was made for domestics. So what I ended up doing was I ended up creating these guys. So this is for K-Series and for the S2000. And then this guy right here, and that is 14 by 1.25. So I had to make these in a machine shop. You essentially just take hexagonal bar stock which is what this is it's three quarter inch bar stock and that's 4140 which is a chromoly and then i have this little kit here that i put together you can see that these are all 5 16 by 18 grade 8 and i have a bunch of different lengths and these help you put these on you'll understand a little bit later when i go to put them on so why don't we get started let's grab the crank bolt and let's lube it for the manual and you're just gonna put some motor oil on the threads, just like this. And then we're gonna add a little bit some motor oil underneath the head of the bolt. There we go. So let's talk about how the tool installs. The way this works is you have your ATI damper and some of them have three holes that already have threads in them that you could use for installation and removal. Some of them don't. If you have to remove these, you'll have to use a Torque T40 Plus bit to get these things out. I have a couple of other videos that talk about that, and so just check them out on YouTube. Before we get started, this is, part number is 918476, and this is a street version of this super damper that is made by ATI for B series. So we'll take the base plate, and you'll essentially put this guy on here, and you'll find these three openings right here. And these have threads in them. So we're gonna put these, this thing on here so that way it lines up. And you're gonna see how the holes line up in there. And then we're gonna grab some of my 5 16 grade eight hardware and put them in the holes. And I'm just gonna put these in hand tight. They're not have to, they don't have to be super tight or anything like that. But that's essentially how they go on. I'm gonna keep them just a little bit loose just in case I need to adjust this just a little bit. Kind of like that. Now let's go over the motor and check that out. Now let's lube the crankshaft lightly with some motor oil as well. This leading edge is important and the OD of the crank. Let's take the key and place it into the keyway that is located in the crank. Make sure that you put it in there the right direction as well. Just like that. Install the threaded crankshaft adapter into the crankshaft hand tight. Grab your ATI damper and on the back side of it, let's just lube this ID right here real quick and the leading edge right along there. So make a note where the key is in the crankshaft. And then on the back side of your ATI damper, there's a key way. So you need to line the key way with the key in the crank. 
So what I do, I flip it over and I look down inside in this hole right here and I make sure that the keyway in the ATI damper is aligned with the key. Once I have that position, I'll take the center shaft and I'll screw it onto the crankshaft adapter. Screw it all the way down until it touches where you can't screw down anymore without the nut drive touching the base plate. Once it's screwed all the way down, now take the nut, the drive nut, and put it up against the base plate and give it a little snugness with your hands. Now I'm gonna take two adjustable wrenches. One is gonna hang on to the center drive shaft and the center drive shaft is gonna stay still. And then I'm gonna take the other one and I'm gonna take the drive nut and I'm gonna rotate it clockwise and that will slowly press on the ATI super damper. This presses it on nice and smooth and concentric. You'll feel the ATI damper stop when it hits the bottom. There, it just hit the bottom. To remove the tool, all you have to do is rotate the center shaft counterclockwise. To remove the base plate, just remove the 5 16 inch bolts. To get the crankshaft adapter out, all you gotta do is just take a three quarter inch socket and just slip her in there and just back her up. And there's the crankshaft adapter. Okay, so now we're outside and to torque the crank pulley bolt, we wanna make sure that we have the flywheel locked down. So we can use this tool, which is a flywheel wrench or a flywheel holder. And you pretty much just stick this thing on here, kind of hold it like that. And then your buddy is gonna hang on to this thing while you go and torque the bolt. The other option is this Honda tool. I saw this in the manual. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna check that thing out. And it actually works really well. So all you gotta do, if you're by yourself, this is really a great tool. It is a little bit on the expensive side, but I really love this tool. All you gotta do is stick it into an existing hole, kind of like that. And then you go on the other side and you put the nut on and that's it. I don't even tighten it that much. I just take a wrench and give it a good snug. So here's a view of the tool from the back side of the motor. And this is the same tool I use to torque the flywheel bolts as well. Now all we have to do is torque the crank bolt. Let's remove my blues piece of tape, which is my reminder that says, hey, let's do a final torque on this thing. So let's start out with 60 foot pounds. And then I'm gonna move to 90 foot pounds. And then I'm gonna do a final torque at 130. Take your threaded crankshaft adapter and thread it into your crankshaft by hand. So before I put the base plate on here, I want you to recognize that there are three threaded locations right here, and these are 5 16 by 18 threads. Some dampers have these holes already here for you, these threaded holes for you to attach this tool onto. But if they don't, you'll have to remove three of these guys right here and you'll have to retorque them. But just so you understand that you have to use the correct bit for these. The bit for these particular ones is a T40 plus. Again, it has to be the right bit, otherwise you're gonna ruin the bolts in here. They may get stuck in here, you might have to use an extractor to get them out. Check out my other video for the removal, the ATI Super Damper on my S2000. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the plate around so the plate will be like this. And we're gonna also put this guy in the other direction. The drive nut always attaches to this little special washer that's on here. And so that'll go on that side. And then you're gonna attach the center shaft, this guy right here, onto the crankshaft adapter. So I'm just gonna slowly put this thing on here. I'm gonna let it bottom out. There, it's bottomed out. And I'm gonna rotate this guy, the drive nut, far, far back so that way I can align the holes that are in the base plate to the threaded holes that are in the damper. I'm gonna put it right up against it. 
and line those holes up put the 5 16 inch guys in here and again i want to try and get at least 1d worth of thread of the 5 16 so that's at least 0.3125 which is whoops wrong hole there we go into the super damper so if your screws aren't long enough that's why i have a collection of screws that are 516-18. I'll move the camera, but I'll use my same adjustable wrenches. I'll hang onto this guy, and then I'll rotate the drive nut counterclockwise, and it'll actually pull this thing off, and it'll pull it off concentrically, so that way you don't mess up your crank or the ATI super damper. I'm holding this one still, and I am rotating the drive nut counterclockwise to slowly pull the ATI damper off. Now don't worry that you're gonna pull this thing off and it's gonna fall off because the crank sh shaft center drive nut or bolt is still there so it won't fall off. So you can see that it's off now. I noticed that this guy, the key just fell out so you gotta be careful that you don't lose that thing. So careful. Now to take off the super damper, all you gotta do is take off the center shaft, hang on to the bottom of it and just rotate the center shaft counterclockwise and it'll remove itself from the crankshaft adapter. Sometimes the crankshaft adapter will come out with it, which is fine. And again, to just take this off, you just take a three quarter inch socket and just back this thing off and it'll pop right off. But that's how you take it out without damaging the crank and without damaging your ATI super damper. So before we continue, I'm sure that people are gonna ask, can this be taken off in the car? In my application, yes, I can take it off in the car. What I end up doing is I end up loosening up this engine mount and supporting the bottom of the motor with a jack and I lower the part of the motor down. And then I'll remove the front left tire and then I could actually access the ATI super damper, put my installation tool on there and removal tool and then I could take this thing off. That is one downfall of this particular guy because you have to use a tool to take it off, but I still think it's worth it because of the benefit. And again, the benefit is dampening the harmonics and the vibrations that happen within the motor. So definitely a performance adder. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is AJ with Relentless Racing. I am so stoked to have you guys watching my videos and I'm hoping that these instructional instructional videos have helped you guys out. In any case, if you guys don't follow me yet, please follow me and subscribe. My Instagram name is Relentless Racing and don't forget to stay relentless and I'll see you guys on the track.